literature can uh, take us to a higher consciousness is why I go to literature. Um, I don't think books can save us from the era of Donald Trump or Brexit, but I think um, what literature does is give voice to a higher consciousness of humanity. You know, that's the. Um, it doesn't. That doesn't mean it has to be the about great subjects. It can be about the most boring person in the world. It, literature gives the mundane its beautiful due. You know, um, and I think in these times that's very important to remember. The difference between writing for Hollywood and writing novels is there's like two more zeros on the check, <laughs> usually. Uh, no, it's not just about money. When you write a novel, you can play God. You are God. When you write a movie, the director is God. And you only write the blueprint. You are just the architect. You don't build it. Somebody else has to build it and inevitably they build it different to how you would. So that's frustrating. When you write a novel, you are God, architect, builder, everything, you know? So um, I'm very lucky I have a job when I can go write movies for a couple of years and make some money, and then I come and write a novel and get to play God and do the, all the things that I'm not allowed to do in movies because they're too conservative. I think the trick is to, to do both. Um, and I think as you get older, that's what you want to do. When I was young, I find it easier, easy to be funny on the page, to make people laugh. Thankfully, it comes quite easy to me. And uh, as you get a little older, you want to do more things as a writer. And so now, like in um, Itero Bianco, um, I wanted to sort of try and make the reader laugh and cry too. So, you know, I hope as I develop as a writer, you can, the, the, the great book, if you can do both in one page, laugh and cry, that's the best, you know. I think, um, Kill Your Friends, I'd like to see in Italian. I think you'd like that book a lot because <clears throat> it deals with, um, I've noticed that Italians, I think, have a fantastic sense of humour about things like corruption and cynicism. And that book is all about cynicism and corruption. So I'd love to see it translated to Italian. Uh, my relationship with Italy is all here. I am. Um, I love the. I love the country. I love the food. I love the people. I love the sense of humour. I love coming to Italy. I've, you know, I've been travelling to Italy since I was in my twenties, so for twenty years now. And Sicily, Sardinia, Rome, uh, Milan. I, I love Italy. Um, and I hope to come many more times. And I am very sad right now that we are not part of the European Union together. But, you know, I think in Britain, a lot of the people who voted to leave the EU are so stupid that we're just going to pretend it never happened. We're just going to, and they won't even notice. Leggete John Niven perché è uno scrittore che commuove, che fa riflettere, che fa ridere, ti fa empatizzare con i suoi personaggi per quanto a volte non propriamente amabili, ti rimane addosso anche dopo che hai finito di leggerlo e vale sempre la pena fare un'esperienza che va oltre la sua fruizione. John resta con te, leggetelo.